And I don't care, I'm just sipping on this yak They can try to call me in, but I'ma be high I'm at in the tomorrow, I got a bottle And some edibles, I hope I hit the lotto I'm just fading away I'm fading to stay I ain't going in tomorrow, I got a bottle And some edibles, I hope I hit the lotto I'm just fading away Yo! Yo, what up? What's good? Shouts out to the mom squad and the dad squad. Welcome back to Planet Breakdown, Hug Life. Welcome back to your official Bill Bird Breakdown channel. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw that out there. Uh, we love Rihanna the Bill Bird, yo. Facts. It'd be so much fun. But um, this was highly requested. Uh, Bill Burr Black Friends Clothes in Harlem. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... We not gonna waste no time. We gonna get right into it. <laughs> Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. African and, uh, persuasion. I gotta get rid of them, man. I gotta admit to you. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm spending too much money on clothes, hanging out with them. Cause I gotta like fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. <laughs> all oh, thanks. When I show up. With my white version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I ironed the shit, right? Yeah. I ironed it, right? It's new. Hey, he big on that. He 100% right. I don't know why the fuck we think we got to wear something new yeah. every time. Every time. Out. Every time. We got to have a new fit. I don't know why, what dog. What is that? I don't know. We just got to we just gotta flex on them. Dog. I we just like gotta flex on them. We just gotta start, dog. It's just, it's just. People endless, have actually dog. told me, "Hey, dog, you don't wear that too much." Hey, look, I don't want to see you with that again, right there, man. Yeah. I don't seen that too much, dog. Yeah, they yeah. tell our friends to tell us, like, like, dog, you wearing that again, dog? Hey, wasn't that many people out last time? I ain't want to waste it. You know what I'm saying? I hate that, dog. You get fresh as hell. You go out, god dog, or ain't that many people out. You be like, fuck, I wasted this fit. And then, I'm wearing this shit again. But then in the industry, the industry look at you bad too. Because say like I'm at, okay, say I'm on, on freaking 10 different red carpets. Mm -hmm. And then six on the red carpets, I got the same thing on. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, Lil, you ain't going to get another suit, dog. Yeah. No, the motherfucker, those suits are... Five six hundred dollars a suit. No, I'm not about to get a suit every time I go to the red carpet. Hey man, come on man. We like to get fresh, yo. Come you on, know, I basically like, I ironed the shit, right? I'm I with, I'm right? with Bill. They just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking fifty eight pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Have I noticed that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland. I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. Facts. <laughs> Why is that? It's like a rule or something. That's real. They're the worst. Even when you wear some new shit, there's like some sort of rule that you gotta like space out the amount of time with, within which like that you wear it. Cause God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10 day period, one of them's gonna notice. Yeah. All of a sudden just look at you funny like, this motherfucker's got the same shit he had on last Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. yeah. He right. And then everybody just starts making fun of your fucking clothes. You get roasted. Like, what was that? Five days ago. Five days. This motherfucker got five shirts. Yeah. Five shirts. Thanks. He's doing the math. Hey, you know five what? Five days ago. Yeah, this nigga only got five shirts. You know where it come from, though? Uh, uh, I think it's cause. Okay, so here's the difference, and I'm about to uh, I'm about to break something down to you. It's a lot. It's a fine line between roasting and bullying. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying. Uh, I just know where I come from. Roasting wasn't bullying. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, you get so roasted. You get roasted at school for. Anything. Mm -hmm. If you wear the same clothes, if you wore some bobos, bobos or some busted up shoes, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, you get roasted. Nowadays they call it they call that bullying. Mm -hmm. We used to roast, so I guess we adapted that mentality and that mindset. Shit, I ain't trying to get roasted, and it just carried over to our adult life. 
Yeah, because a lot of, you know what I'm saying, a lot of us growing up never got to get the stuff that we really wanted. Yeah. And when we got old enough and was able to afford everything yeah. that we wanted. We get it. We went and got all that shit that yeah. we never was able to get. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. every day we get fly because we never got to get fly every day in, as a kid. in school as yeah. kids like yeah. how we wanted to get. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? And then at the same time, I'm, I'm going to get fly. If I get fly with this shirt, this pants, and these shoes, and this hat, I ain't getting that fly like that no more. Now, I might wear the same hat with the same shirt, mm -hmm. but I'm going to switch it up with the switch shoes or the yeah, pants yeah, or yeah. whatever. I'm going to switch it up. You got to switch it up a little bit. I ain't bit. trying to get roasted either. Yeah. We got five shirts. They start breaking it down. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday. Next shirt be saying Tuesday. Yo, on the weekend, he ain't wearing no shirt. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like all black people scared me. I was like the typical white dude from like the suburbs. You know what I mean? I had no frame of reference. You know, so my only frame of reference with black people was like the remember those early '90s gangster rap videos? Throw the fucking LA riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. <laughs> I'm watching the video. So he's got nice cars, he's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. <laughs> These black dudes are never happy. <laughs> But after 10 years of living in the city, this is how I narrow it down. Whether well, black dude scares me or not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. That's facts. No. Hey. A black Air Force. Listen. If you, uh, if you catch some black, hey, either he don't care. Like, it depends on where you are. Yeah. But if you see a nigga some dirty sneakers, he ready to run. Yeah, and he ain't getting out of work today. Oh. Yeah. He... He, he ready he to do, put on his running he shoes. Do, he, he, ready do some do, dirt. he ready to do some dirt. Yeah, he ain't gonna wear his good shoes. That's the last shit that they're gonna let go. The immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit! Everyone starts making fun of him. Yep, roasting. He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody, kind of mug me kind of face. Mug me face. I'm not saying something's gonna happen, I'm just saying, I'm paying attention. <laughs> you got to. So I've been seeing this girl recently, uh, this black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone out like three, four times, you know? First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. <laughs> so shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was more like Midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? Oh. Well, so it's 3.30 in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. Yeah. <laughs> Harlem? Yeah, cause you know the deal, right? Basically a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th street, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st street, <laughs> something like a little asthma, like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm starting to get a little high up here. Yeah. You're like leaning on shit like dude where'd all the cabs go 106 and park how come there's no taxis up here <laughs> dude what's a bodega what's a bodega get the fuck out of here <laughs> so i'm praying to god she's gonna tell me to take the subway get off at like 105th street 130 which is like the first stop in harlem where i can still look over my shoulder and see like all the white people like disappearing over the horizon you know yeah, uh -huh. She goes, no, man, you want to get on the Uptown 2-3 train, you want to get off at 125th Street. I'm like, God, fuck. You deep. You deep in it's there. It's like right in the middle of everything. Yeah. I'm going to be surrounded on all four sides. I can't fucking do this. Surrounded everywhere. So, at this point, I'm really trying to hide, like, the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know? And I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after like a black leader, you know, she's like, make a left on Adam Clayton, take a right on Frederick Douglass, I'm like, ah, fuck Adam Clayton. <laughs> no, dude, go on the internet, look up Adam Clayton. <laughs> Did he kill a bunch of white people during a slave revolt? Thanks. Dude, I go myself because I'm thinking I can't do this right 
I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going. No, come on, man. We can do this. No, yeah, yeah. Just relax. We Hold got this. Get yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? So as always, I listen to my dick. As always. Oh, yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get... Hey, he get you into some trouble, I'll tell boy. You right now, he is not lying. He not lying, boy. Listen, he could be in, he could be in fear for his fucking life, but if his dick telling him to go, he go go. He go go. He go go. We all done took some trips we wasn't supposed to. We knew it was was dangerous. But listen, go on and dick tell you to do it. You gonna do it? I done been in the hood. We was beefing with, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, you can't help it. Ain't had no business over there. I wish boy. he ain't had so much control, I'm man. Like, boy, I got the gun. Where you say you live at? I'm trying man. to tell you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. You can't meet me nowhere. Hey, you gonna go. You gonna figure it out. But you, you ain't gonna, gonna figure out how to get it. You ain't gonna, hey, you gonna have real. somebody drop you off or something, man. Yep. As always, I listen to my dick. <laughs> oh, yeah, get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like five or four in the morning, right? I'm staying on like Malcolm X and like Danny Glover or some shit, right? <laughs> Malcolm X and Danny Glover. <laughs> when I see the street, I want to go up. I want to go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building, but there's like five or six black dudes standing right on uh, her, right where I want to walk by. Oh, they're gonna say ah! something. <laughs> I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. He was ridiculous. White guy survivor. Yeah. So I'm thinking I gotta walk right by these guys, right? You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was really, really scared, you know? But I'm also really, really white, you know? Like shockingly Caucasian. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you're not ready for me, I can like surprise you. <laughs> He said he's shockingly Caucasian. He's shockingly Caucasian, dog. Like, but he real, he right though. He real, uh, he real, dog. You can you imagine? Cause we used to like white boy Steve in the yeah, hood. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Can you imagine us out there in in, in, the, in the hood? I, I know and, oh, you and Bill. Five o'clock in four, five o'clock in the morning. And Bill Burr pop and Bill Burr walking up the street. You gonna be like, what the fuck? Everybody gonna be like, okay, oh, we it's, gonna, a, it's the popo right here. Yeah, but at first it's gonna be like the popo. Then oh. he go into a building. Yeah. When you go into the building, be like, oh, uh, he gang. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, as soon as, gonna, soon as he to... come back, as soon as he come back out, he bait. Yeah. He bait. He bait. Yeah. That's real. That's real. Cause you go into a building, that means you coming to see somebody. Yeah. So somebody you, gonna tell so you, see you what you got. Yeah. That's the hood. Hey, I can like hood. surprise you. <laughs> no, especially if you live up there. You've probably seen a white person for hours, possibly days. So when I show up, it's almost like magical. Like a mm -hmm. leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? Yep. For real. I feel like I should yeah. have like a little pot of gold, like a rainbow behind me. Top of the morning to you, like it. <laughs> kind of dance my way past them. <laughs> but it's been going all right, you know? Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax, sit down, you know, watch a hip-hop countdown. <laughs> Pretend like I know the groups, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But you know, I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes gotta go through the same shit though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl, right? Just that same awful feeling. But just leaving your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. <laughs> Probably start off lean and you're all fucking cool. <laughs> 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and 2, the radio's off. Like, dude, I don't like this shit. <laughs> I don't like this shit at all. There's too much grass, I don't see any rims. I don't hey, see any rims. Hey, it just depends. It just depends on what type of white girl you're going to see at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're going to, if you're going to Sugar Creek, you cool. Yeah. You know? But if you're going to dang um, going Blue Ridge. To... Yeah, yeah. It's different, boy. Try to rest. Yeah. You, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's you different. You're going to be like, you're going to be ready. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's too different. It's yeah. too different. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go get you a, a, a suburban girl or a country girl. <laughs> Suburban, I ain't really too worried about it. You the country, you gotta worry about getting your damn tire shot out. You're stoned. Yeah, right. I don't see any rims. This is fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every car. This is fucked up. Yeah. Listen, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. God bless you. Thank you very much. Bye, man. Thank you. <laughs> that was 
that was dope. Hey. That was hey. dope. That was dope. Bill he was on. He was spot on. He was spot on. I can't even lie. He was spot on. He yeah. is spot on. That's yeah. how it be. For uh, that was dope. That is crazy. Start getting there. Watch, watch some top 10 video. Yep. <laughs> top 10 hip hop yep. countdown. Acting like he know the groups. You know what I'm saying? And he was spot on that whole video, man. I can't even front. <laughs> All uh, right, y'all know what to do, man. Put yeah. uh, put now it let's up. Know. Now let's know the next reaction y'all want us to do with Bill Burr. And we own it, man. Peace, love, and respect. Make sure y'all get somebody a hug today. And I don't care. I'm just sipping on this yak. They can try to call me in, but I'm going to be high. I'm in the mind.